Local news at 530. Good Tuesday evening, everybody. I'm Greg Lamont. Sure appreciate you joining us tonight. I'm Becky Hillier. Earlier in the show, we showed you the Billings crime map for the last two weeks. This map on the screen is just the crimes reported to Billings police yesterday. Why is this important? Well, because many people would assume that criminals caught in connection with these crimes would be in jail today, but that's not necessarily true. The Yellowstone County Detention Facility faces issues regarding placement for inmates as their facility has become overcrowded. Color 8's Brianna Monte dug into the challenges facing the Yellowstone County Detention Facility. So, Brianna, what can you tell us tonight? Well, Greg and Becky, the Yellowstone County Detention Facility is currently undergoing rehabilitation. Now, once that is completed, there will be an extra 88 beds. Now, Commander Lieutenant Roger Bodine says this may not seem like a lot, but in reality, it helps a great deal. This is a traffic stop I witnessed Monday evening. The Billings police officer pulled the driver over for expired registration plates. Once the officer gets back in the car, he tells me the driver has a warrant for his arrest. I then proceed to ask him if the driver will be booked. His answer, no. The reason, the jail is too overcrowded, so the driver would just end up being let go. Commander Lieutenant Bodine says 517 inmates are booked at the Yellowstone County Detention Facility. There is a maximum capacity of 148 females and 289 men. That's a total max capacity of 437 inmates. Women's unit that we just finished uh, is helped out a lot. Uh, we have plenty of room for women now. Um, it's filling up fast, but we're, we're still good there. Um, but we do need more room for men. Bodine says the majority of inmates who are booked are related to drug offenses. Meth and opiate are a big deal in Billings now, and it's, it's, a, it's a huge problem. And that creates a lot of people coming to jail because of the, the abuse. For now, Bodine says the rehabilitation of the detention facility will help the overcrowding issue, but the community will have to have a conversation soon about rebuilding or expanding the Yellowstone County Detention Facility. Now, Lieutenant Bodine says that when an officer is making an arrest or pulling someone over for a misdemeanor warrant, they are asked to give a notice to appear in court rather than remanding them into jail. Now, this is because the YCDF wants to save that space for as much as they can for the most violent offenders. In Billings, Brianna Monte, Montana, right now.